Hello and welcome to Technology Simplicity YouTube channel. My name is Jay Chung. Today's topic is about how to use Formulator form to create a coupon code fields so that you can give away coupon code to create the urgency in terms of discount, um, to fill up certain form and so on. Actually, if you try Formulator plugin before, you shall realize that actually there is no coupon code field. There's no direct way. However, I figured out a way to create this by myself. And I wish to share with you everyone so that you can benefit. And it's very simple only. Let's go. Okay, first of all, I presume you already know what is Formulator and you are wondering how to actually get this coupon code field. So first of all, come to your WordPress website. I presume you know you already know most of it, okay? Have your Formulator plugin installed and activated. Right after that, what you need to do is, okay, say you create a new form, okay? Uh, let me create a new form, eh? This one, just turn it off. Okay, just turn it off. Okay, I'm going to create one. Okay, I start with a blank one. Okay, that's matter. I'm going to call it coupon code. Okay, a simple one. So what you need to do is actually very simple. Number one, you're going to have a tick box. Okay, number two, you need uh, the calculation. And then I will say I need an input field. Okay, this is just for the sake of demonstration purpose. Huh? Okay, insert field. So let's say, I want certain people to actually key in okay coupon code here placeholder okay and I'm expecting something okay I'm going to put require because I want them to put or actually it's optional it doesn't matter okay when it's done I just put apply then the next thing is I'm going to say that okay apply 50% discount for example okay then by default, I'm going to this uh, select, not select it. Uh, okay, here's the partner. Okay, this thing, I'm going to hide it. I'm going to only show it if the coupon code equal to is, let's say I'm Jay Chong. Done. So this tick box is actually only appear when the correct coupon code being insert. Okay, can you follow me so far? Then the calculation will only show you. Okay, total to pay. Let's say originally is 10 bucks. Okay, I'm going to do this calculation. Okay, I'm going to 10 minus. Uh, I'm going to do the coupon code. Apologize. Okay, you have to come back to the checkbox here and you do this calculation, enable. So, when the apply 50% discount have been ticked, you're going to put minus 5, for example, apply. So in the calculation here, I will do it as a 10 minus, presuming 10 is the value original price, I'm going to minus 5, which is the tag box, apply. So how it works is actually very simple. You will have a form like this. You should, currently, you need to pay 10 bucks and the coupon code, you type IMJ Trump, for example. Then you can take apply 50%. Oh, I'm sorry. This one is 15. Okay, let's do it. Let's double check the calculation. Huh? Okay, 10 minus checkbox is minus 5. Okay, sorry. Minus minus is plus. So I need to plus. Okay, so it's a mathematic problem. Okay, let's try it one more time. So it's at first it's 10 bucks, then you keep it. Correct the boom code and apply the fifty percent. Then voila, that's it. Here is the method that for you to actually apply the coupon code feel like this. Okay, so um because the the tax field doesn't have the calculations. However, the checkbox have the calculations. So here you can actually indicate. Uh, how much discount is going to give but these particular fields in terms of the checkbox you do not want to appear if the coupon code is not insert so one of the best way is you use visibility and make sure 
The sad things here is put optional else. If someone trying to purchase something or submit a form without a coupon code, uh, it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't go through lah. So very simple, right? So first, just create uh, a text input field, which is for you to in uh, to transform into a coupon code field. Then number two, create a cal calculations. Okay, if you do not show the calculation on the spot, um, it's really up. I'm um, sorry, it's not calculation. Okay, first, first you create a text box to insert the coupon code. Number two, you create a check box so that you can apply the discount that you want to give away. And number three, of course, you have to double check on the calculations side to make sure you key in the formula correctly in terms of which fields should be minus which one and so on. So once you've done that, you have your coupon code field on formula to plug. I hope this is helpful. And if you enjoy watching this video and you like this tutorial, especially it's really, really helpful for you, please do me a favor. Click a like, click a like and like. Subscribe to my channel as well as put a ring so that you'll get notified whenever I go live every Wednesday at 15 pm or upload similar video like this in tutorial forms. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again, uh, especially during my live. And stay home, stay safe, everyone. This is uh, Jay Chung from Technology Simplicity YouTube channel. Goodbye and stay home, stay safe. Bye bye.